Hi everyone! Today I'm going to be painting these cactuses. I started out by drawing them just because I wanted to use masking fluid for some of the details and it was easier to see if they were drawn out beforehand. Masking fluid does just that. It masks off areas on the paper where you don't want any paint. I used Winsor & Newton masking fluid and just found it at my local craft store. I'll list all the products and paint colors I'm using in the description box below if you'd like to check them out. Anyway, once the masking fluid was all drawn on and completely dry, I was able to start adding paint. I really wanted the focus to be on the color and just letting the watercolor paint do its job, so I mixed a ton of water into my paint and just filled in the spaces on my cactuses. I'm using Arches Cold Press watercolor paper, which is really great for using lots of water. I also used a variety of greens all throughout my painting to give this some extra interest. I'm really relying heavily on the wet and wet technique to make these cactuses pop. One thing I tried to do as I went along is I changed the color green as I filled in the same area. I did this by adding more water to the same color or by changing the color entirely. I also dotted in extra paint in some places and just let the watercolor paint do its job and blend into each other. When I added these cactus flowers toward the end, I just let the color bleed right into the green parts of the cactus. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you'll try this out. It was really fun. My camera died right before I could rub off the masking fluid and add a couple of extra details, so if you'd like to see the finished product, head over to my Instagram account, at Snowberry Design Co., if you want to see that. If you liked this video and you think it's worth sharing, please do. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. I post weekly watercolor videos, and then subscribing will just make sure you don't miss any in the future. Thanks again for watching. Bye!